This video training series is intended to be used by Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Units responding to an air rescue assignment and focuses on helicopter landing zone safety, communications, and procedures for loading patients. Landing zone selection and preparation. When responding to an air rescue assignment, the LZ group should use pre-designated landing zones. Taker 52 arrival. Inform Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Fire Alarm Office of the name and address of the LZ. The LZ description, such as a school, field, parking lot, or other designated area of operation. If there is a need to land the helicopter in an undesignated landing zone, such as a highway, provide the specific location description, for example, Florida Turnpike northbound lane, before I-75, or provide the latitude and longitude coordinates. The LZ should facilitate takeoffs and landings into the wind and a minimum 100 by 100 foot with firm level ground, so personnel will need to inspect the terrain and avoid standing water, mud, sand, swampy areas, and loose gravel. Avoid slopes or slanted ground. Personnel should survey the LZ to remove loose debris and make note of obstacles, obstructions, and other hazards that are present and in the immediate area and relate them to a compass bearing north, south, east, or west. We have power lines on the west side. Place power flares to mark the LZ square pattern. Although obstructions may be obvious to ground personnel, they may not be noticeable from the air. When possible, park apparatus adjacent to obstructions as warning to the pilot. Remember, a helicopter does not take off or land straight up and down. It makes an angled approach, preferably into the wind, and can produce winds of over 100 miles per hour. The patient should remain in the fire rescue unit with doors closed until the aircraft is landed and a flight medic assessment is completed. Fire apparatus should be positioned Outside the 100 by 100 foot LZ, all flashing overhead emergency lights should be operating to help the flight crew identify the LZ from a distance. As a general procedure, alternative scene lights and headlights should be turned off once the flight crew has advised the LZ group that the LZ is in sight. All vehicles and bystanders should be kept at least 100 feet from the LZ. An aircraft should always be considered dangerous whether the rotors are rotating or appear to be stopped. Vehicles near the LZ should not be in motion when the helicopter is on final approach or landing or preparing to lift off. Aircraft landing. If the LZ group sees a hazard, there are two simultaneous actions they must take. One, the marshal must wave their hands over their heads in the direction of the aircraft to alert the pilot of the hazard. Two, the LZ group leader must contact the aircraft on the designated radio frequency, clearly stating, abort, abort, abort landing. When possible, as the helicopter is hovering a few feet over the LZ, the helicopter pilot will turn the aircraft's nose towards the fire apparatus and will then lower the helicopter to the ground. Never approach the helicopter or bring the patient to the helicopter without the flight medic's instructions. Safety and communication are crucial elements in a successful aircraft landing.